Hey guys, Luke here back again with another auction preview for this weekend, December the 12th sale. With me as always is my main lady, Cassie. Say hi, Cassie. And I know what you're thinking. Yes, it is colder in here now, isn't it? Yes. Um, but in the meantime, while you're observing how terribly, horrifically baby-faced I am without a beard, uh, Cassie's going to be showing you around the floor, and I'm going to take you through some of the vehicles we got up for auction this weekend. So, in no particular order whatsoever. A 1993 Subaru Sambar van, a 1994 internal 9200 dump truck, because why not? Um, a 2005 Ford F550 service truck, a 2009 Dodge Grand Caravan, a 2014 Freightliner Cascadia semi truck, a 2013 BMW 328i that I believe Cassie's showing you right now, and a 2009 Ford F350. So, several trucks, um, a hippie van, a semi-truck, and a dump truck. And if that wasn't all enough, uh, we also have a car hauler. So if you find a way to stack all of those on it, heck, I'll throw something in for three, I don't know. But that's not all we have going on, of course. I mean, you guys have, if you've ever seen one of these before, you've ever signed up to one of our live sales, whatever the heck, you know we have tons of other jazz going on that Cassie is also currently panning to right now. Schmancy. All kinds of stuff going on this weekend. We have tons of furniture, all kinds of wood and leather from like dressers to vanities to beds. There's bed frames, there's desks, there's dining sets, there's bookshelves. There's this giant like, I guess you'd call it a chest, but it's got a big pentagram on the front. Maybe it was owned by a witch. I don't know. I'm too scared to open it. But you, you could be braver and you could open it and it could be, you know, it could be, who knows what's in there. Maybe it's, maybe it's treasure. Maybe it's some sort of sage. Maybe it's, maybe it's people. But it might also be empty. Who can say in this crazy mixed up world we live in? It's the holiday season, guys. It's, it's, I'm feeling very festive. I'm feeling very jolly. If you look around the stuff Cassie's showing you right now, like it's starting to get a little more festive and jolly in here as well. There's a lot more reds and greens afoot. People are, there's a tree over there. So if you guys are looking around your house and thinking, my word, this is a very depressing Christmas season. Well, fix your decor up and it might help you a little bit. We also have tons of electronics up for auction this weekend as well. We have like speaker systems and like the stuff for live music, like the fog machines and the lighting systems and like a, and I swear, a giant pallet that has like a racing sim. I've been think, I've been looking at that and I'm thinking, is this, is this the time that I disappear back into my racing sim hole? Not sure yet, but they are going by the pallet and I mean, I have no idea what I do with that much electronics, but. Heck, if the price is right. Anyway, all kinds of stuff going on this weekend. Um, Cassie, could I, could I bug you to perchance make your way over to the hippie van? Because I think that thing is like neat as all heck. Despite the fact that it's right hand drive, which like just is just a brain trip to try and figure out. But it's really neat looking. Um, of course, closer to the Christmas season, even just passing by that showcase there like there's all kinds of fancy stuff people have brought in um right there on cassie's left that clock is like an 18th century marble like ornamental clock yeah the one beside the creepy head but also the very lovely vases <laughs> he's just he's just staring at it. those are the kinds of things you might find when you open that pentagram chest but really fancy stuff in because i think it's getting closer to the christmas season like someone brought an entire piano right there People are trying to, you know, push all their nice stuff outwards so, you know, they can, you know, get it out and to the right and appropriate owners before Christmas time is afoot. But there's like watches, there's an entire showcase that's just full of Royal Daltons, and I mean full of Royal Daltons. There's coins, there's Swarovski. I never get this right. I, I wrote it down in big capital letters because I always get this wrong. Swarovski crystal. Eh? Yeah. Eh? Yeah. We even have a piece signed by Sir Paul McCartney. So like, if you guys are looking to get any kind of Christmas giftery going on this weekend, if you got any kind of family events, or if you just really want some neat stuff yourself, like look at that band, that's too cool. This is the weekend to get in on it. But as if that weren't enough, we also have a ton of tools. We have a big old tool section this week, which is nice because we've been had a really decent tool section in like, geez, two, three weeks now, maybe. 
But there's like air ratchets, there's grinders, there's drills, there's saws, there's drill presses, there's like the smallest welder I've ever seen. It's adorable. If you could put it in someone's stocking, I'd recommend you do so. But we have like an industrial stapler, which is a thing that I always figured existed, but if, if you're just at the office and you have a secretarial job and your boss is upsetting you, why not be passive aggressive and get an industrial stapler? Then, as if that all weren't enough, we have several other sales going on. Not just like in total, but this weekend as well. So. Moving on to tomorrow's sale, our antique sale in Lethbridge. All kinds of coins and militaria and vintage toys and antiques all going up for auction, but only until tomorrow. So this same time tomorrow, those are all going to be selling, all going to be on their way into good little boys and girls stockings and under the tree. And... Wouldn't it be great to have some of those treats? Um, then, moving on after that, our restaurant auction. We have all, there's fryers, there's stoves, there's ovens, there's coolers, there's freezers, there's steamers, there's slicers, there's a whole bunch of other S words and related equipment. So, make sure if you guys are looking to get anyone culinary stuff for this holiday season, or if you're trying to meet the rush as the restaurant season starts blindingly kicking into gear, well, this Sunday, that's your opportunity to do so. Then, the coin auction. Not this Saturday, but the following Saturday. Am I too close? Too close. Do you need me to move? Not too. Oh, okay. Sorry, we're very, we're very intimate here. Um, our coin auction, next Saturday. If you got anyone in the family who's really into... Oh, okay, all right. We're, we're doing this, huh? Coins. <laughs> Those are, there you go. Uh, Morgan dollars, silver dollars, nickels, pennies, farthings, uh, shekels, uh, uh, all kinds of currency going up for auction next Saturday. And that is the same day as our record auction. And especially if you got any jazz fans in particular in the family, you might want to have a look through that sale because there's all kinds of like the old Django Reinhardt's and Ella Fitzgerald's and the Billie Holiday's. And you really don't even have to be a jazz fan to like Billie Holiday. I've yet to meet someone who doesn't love Billie Holiday. But that'll about wrap her up for Cassie and me for this weekend sale. Um, happy holidays. Stay safe out there. The roads have been kind of cred. But uh, yeah, from your auction family, happy holidays. And uh, we'll catch you guys later. You want to say bye, Cassie? No, she's already on it. <laughs> See you guys.